Well, uh, yeah, we're going to talk to you about uh, the mark units, uh, what we consider the three in one. So when we say three in one or mark unit, uh, we talk a lot about the lower. So when we say three in one, we mean paint, mud, so you can do level five finishes or a texture finish, which you can actually add an air atomizer kit to your gun to actually do orange peel or a splatter effect. So adding this to your normal, your spray gun, your Blue Max gun, and adding the atomizer kit we can and a compressor, we can actually do textured finishes for your commercial jobs or residential. We'll show you a little bit about that application in a minute. The big difference between a Mark line versus your traditional Graco 795 or 1595 is the difference is in the pump. So what we do is we make a longer drawing pump. So what it'll do is it'll actually take, in this case, we're doing some, some drywall mud. So what we did was we added a little bit of water, about a quart, four or five uh, pints to a, a box of mud, and we, we paddle mix it to create a consistency where we can actually spray it. Uh, you can pull it directly from a bucket of mud or a, a box of mud into a, but it is, it'll, it'll be a lot faster drying, a little bit tougher to work with. So what we do is often we'll add a little bit of water to it so it's a little bit more sprayable. Um, what we'll do is because of this lower, the extended lower, if you look, our lower ball assembly is down lower. So we're actually able to pull up heavier materials. So not only like mud finishes, but any type of elastomeric or heavy, heavy materials. So what you can see here is this is a uh, traditional paint lower. So you can see the difference. What we have here is we have the, the suction tube here and you can see where our, where our traditional paint pumps only work here. This draw is actually able to pull up material right from the bottom of the bucket. So if you're doing block fillers or elastomerics, this is gonna actually run more efficiently. The nice part about that is though, I don't have to do anything to change if I wanna spray paint with it. So this can spray without any changes. It can go from paint to mud and with adding that air atomizer kit, I can actually do a texture, a sprayable texture. So this is the Mark line, uh, three in one, sprayers from Graco. Uh, right now what we'll do is we're gonna actually do some spray application. You can see us do a little bit of uh, spraying a mud for a level five. Uh, one of the things you're gonna need to, to know about as we spray. So what we'll do here is, and you can actually see, if we're gonna spray mud, we actually, if we were spraying paint with this, we would leave this filter in. But what we do is we pull the filters. Um, the other thing you're gonna notice that's different on these guns is they're filterless. So majority of the time, if you're running heavy latexes or mud, you don't want filters in it. You can just change out the gun if you're gonna do a lot of latex spraying and you wanna save this for your, your heavier mud applications or doing your test. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take some uh, mud and we're gonna actually do uh, simulate a level five finish on drywall back here. The, uh, what we're gonna do is, what's essentially important is, unlike paint when you would wanna get up pretty close to the wall, this we wanna get about three feet back. So what we're gonna try and do is do a 24 to 36 inch wide fan pattern. Now, painting, normally I'd go a little bit faster. Depending on what you want and how much you have to the, basically imperfection in your drywall, you can lay this on as thick as you want to. So if you move slower, it's gonna put on a little bit heavier millage or a little thicker amount of mud. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll move back about three feet from the wall and spray. So you can see we're actually putting it on. That doesn't look like we're actually applying much material, but if I go here, you can actually see where I actually laid on the mud. It's actually thicker than what you think it is. It looks like we're doing a paint application. Now, normally what we would do is a couple different things you can do. If, if you don't get the finish you like, you can actually, a lot of times you'll see, I'm gonna take a little mud off. What you'll see is they'll come back and either hit it with a wonder trial or they'll just leave it. If you, once you get experience with doing the application, you can leave a little bit of stipple 
next day you come back and sand off the stipple and get a, a smooth finish. So this is the Mark V doing a level five spray finish. Hi guys, Guy McDonald here with Greco. I was gonna show you the uh, air atomizer attachment kit that we can add to the Mark IV or Mark V units. These are the units that we can, are three in one, and we can use for spraying paint, level five drywall, and we can also do texture. The texture application that I'm gonna show you right now is a fine finish orange peel. This uh, air atomizer kit is what we put on the front of the gun. We take the traditional tip and guard off and we put the air atomizer kit on. Currently, we're using a flat tip, kind of like a pressure washer tip, and that's gonna give us our orange peel finish. We can also add the other ones, and which would be a, you can see the hole patterns here. We can take these off and change the nozzle, and this would give us a medium knockdown, and then also we have another one that gives us the large lockdown, uh, knockdown. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Mark V currently. Basically, we're using that pump as a transfer pump. We're gonna transfer the mud to the gun at a low pressure, not like we're using when we're painting paint, when we're putting paint on, that's about 3,000 PSI. This is gonna be around the six to 800 PSI. And then we can adjust the droplet size by the amount of fluid pressure and air. So um, uh, here we go again, we're gonna attach the air. We have an external compressor over there and we're gonna add the air supply to this. We can fill the air, we can also adjust the air to, uh, by the needle valve on the side and that's also gonna determine our pattern. Right now we're gonna do an orange peel. We're we'll starting the ground and we're gonna work our way up. Right there of how to do a orange pill finish with the Mark V 3-in-1 Graco sprayer. Thank you very much.